In this video, we will be comparing this Metal Raiders first edition box to see if it's resealed. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In this video, we're gonna be checking out a bunch of different Metal Raiders boxes here. One of them I think may be resealed, but we're gonna be comparing it to the others, and then we're gonna crack it open to see. Before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this sealed, Slifer the Sky Dragon from, uh, it's like an OCG, I think, was it Premium Gold Bo a God Box, whatever they're called? No Gold, Premium God Box, I think is what they're called. Prismatic God Box, that's it. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Is this box resealed? or is it legit? But before we actually get into if the Metal Raiders box is resealed, let's talk about Whatnot tonight. Tonight we have a Whatnot stream at 5 p.m. Central where I will be box breaking one of these Metal Raiders boxes. You know, it's supposed to be this one, but if it is actually resealed like we think it may be, then I obviously have two more that we can use. One of them is gonna be available tonight on Whatnot. So hope to see you guys there. Use my link down below. You get $15 for free when you sign up if it's the first time, and then you guys can use it on potentially a Metal Raiders pack. I'll have more stuff listed and some crazy giveaways as well. Here are some of the giveaways that we will be giving away today. So I've learned the secret of TCG player. So I ordered this ancient fairy dragon as lightly played as a ghost rare. So I figured, you know what? Near mint is never near mint on TCG player. I'm going to try lightly play because one is cheaper and two, I think maybe the more realistic sellers when it comes to condition will actually list their nice cards at lightly played. So as you guys can see here, we have a ghost rare ancient fairy dragon. This card is supposedly lightly played. I mean, look at it. It looks incredible. I think there are some corner issues, but if you guys remember, ancient fairy dragon often has like top corners that are not great. So this is pretty normal out of a pack. It looks almost pack pull, and this was lightly played on TCG player, if you can believe it or not. I did the same with this black wing dragon, which it's not in as good a condition, but it's still pretty nice if you look at it. It is pretty solid. It has a couple of scratches on the front. Surface is pretty solid maybe a couple of like like light back scuffs but it looks way better than like if i bought a near mint one of these would probably look mod play this thing looks closer to near mint than it does to mod play and then finally we got the uh crush card virus there will be many other giveaways but these are the ones i have on hand when i'm recording this so if you guys are interested in any of those giveaways check out whatnot tonight it's going to be really exciting and yes i know i'm stuttering and sl it's slurring all over the place thanks to this new invisalign that i got so i'm getting used to it i got it on literally right before this so hopefully i'll sound better than this coming soon but sorry about the s's they're going to be a little strong let's go ahead and look into these metal raiders boxes so first of all i've had one of these for a very long time i think this is the one i've had for a long time probably like a year at this point this one i am like 99.9 .9 sure is not resealed it looks very legit to me i'm going to give me a little room here okay so you can check out the sealer a little bit of a dent but that's okay you can dent a box that's sealed it's not a big deal doesn't mean anything the seals look good everything here I mean, there's nothing suspicious really about this box. It does have a little bit of like waviness to it, which is actually good when it comes to a legit seal. The edge here looks really legit here. You want to see this kind of stuff on the edge of a legit sealed box. You won't see it on a resealed a lot of the time. So you're going to have two of these kind of seals, one on each side. Sometimes they can be in the front. Sometimes they'll be on the side. I actually have two different examples here. Uh, this one, it's on the sides rather than the front and back. Uh, back seems to be pretty good. There can be some like cuts on the, on the back. What you don't want to see is like little dust or anything under the wrapper because that means like maybe it's been open before unless there's like a hole maybe it could have gotten in there um so this one pretty legit looks pretty good then here's one that i recently picked up this has a front seal so front and back seal as you can see that but the seals look pretty good it's a little bit different but they can be on either side here this one looks a little different on the back as you can tell they this one has a flap and this one doesn't flat metal raiders boxes are, it's not a bad sign they're usually not usually but a lot of times there is a flap on a legit box so that's fine to see it's a little wavy which concerned me at first like how big it is like these big uh, things but it's actually more concerning for a box to be tightly wrapped than it is to be like this because it's really hard to like reseal a box that has like that kind of loose wrapping. So those two both look pretty good. And then we have another box. So this is the one I was planning on opening on whatnot tonight, but I obviously want to make sure it's legit before I actually sell packs. And I don't want to you know, have a surprise attack on the, the whatnot live. We open it up and it's like not legit, even though I do have backups. So I figured we make a cool video here talking about legit boxes and not. These are all gate guardian boxes, by the way, which is 101, 849. Uh, I think 55 might be thousand dragons, something like that. You might be able to see a difference here with the seals. So. If you take a look at some seals here, so you see how thick the seal is on this legit box versus here, it's very, very thin. It's like a line. That is usually not a great sign. Um, I'm not, not like 100% sure this is resealed, but this line right here is not usually good. 
uh it's they're usually a little bit longer it kind of looks like somebody like trimmed them off or something another thing is like this is a really tight wrap as i mentioned earlier i don't love how tight the wrapping is it, like there's also some sketchy holes like it looks like it's so tight that it kind of ripped which doesn't usually happen on the jit boxes same thing right there this one also feels like when i push down here it's like completely stuffed full and then as you can tell on this side not so much like you can kind of push down and there's like either a pack slid over there which can happen in legit boxes or like they didn't pack it right and it wasn't accurate so i really don't feel great about this box i think it i mean it could be legit but we're gonna figure it out right now live i want you guys to let me know in the comments before we open it yeah no cheating let me know do you think this is legit or do you not think it's legit i would go i would lean toward not legit but we're gonna find out right now we're gonna open it up we're not gonna open any packs because they're gonna be for sale tonight on whatnot so go check it out assuming this is legit if not we'll have another box let's see what it looks like here we go and also we're also going to be opening up a few packs after this just in case you know so you know we don't want a short video obviously we want the videos to be monetized and everything so i'm going to give you guys a little content of that too so let's open this up figuring it out is it a legit box i do like these on the edge but i don't know let's find out uh, i know a lot of you guys are hating on my knife i just don't clean my knife i'm sorry it's also very tight which is unusual okay um okay cut kind of kind of okay let's see um this wrapping feels not good so Normally the wrapping also, it's like Indian and that's kind of weird. It feels a little bit stiff. Usually you want it to be a little more like crinkly and it's not so loud. Okay, on the back, it feels a little better. You never know, could have been like reused. Uh, uh, maybe it feels a little bit more like I bought something at the gas station to eat. I don't, it doesn't feel great. Um, let's see. Okay, as you guys can see, the left side of the box here is taller than the right. If you guys can notice this, let me see if I can do that. It looks like there's either an extra pack or it slid over or something like that. But these packs are legit on top. The question is underneath. Okay, it does seem to be first edition. That's good. Okay, maybe it slid over. Let's see. Pull this out. So we have one. Oh, here we go. Open packs. Open pack. Yes, they are resealed. Okay, we were right. We were right. So they have the real packs inside, but inside of it is Oh yeah, this is Toon Chaos. This is a recent reseal. So it's been resealed since 2020 when Toon Chaos count. I'm glad that we did this on video so that we didn't open this box on whatnot, but that's okay because we have two legit boxes I just showed you. We'll still be opening one tonight. No worries about that. Uh, but I'm glad that we opened this and figured this out. We have a Darkfire Dragon. Yeah, okay, it's a bunch of Toon Chaos, it looks like. Let's see if there's anything interesting throughout this box. Okay, we have a, uh, all right, resealed box, guys. Snuffed out on Ruxin 34, look. I am glad that, you know, I may or may not have some expertise in this, you know, after all these years, and I'm glad that sometimes it pays off, you know? Uh, sometimes I get a box and it just doesn't feel right. I'm glad that I can at least do that. Hey, first edition Metal Raiders comments here. That's not bad. That's actually pretty solid. I mean, those could be worth a little bit. No Pecanio Moth. If this has a Pecanio Moth, one of the worst reseals of all time because you put like the rarest card in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the reseal. You know what? Let's just go through these for fun. Why not? It's part of the video. I mean, come on, let's do it. Okay, more Tomb Chaos. We don't care about this. Metal Raiders is what we're kind of looking for, first dead. Uh, yeah, unfortunate that this is resealed, but there were some signs. And now that I've showed you guys on video, you guys have access to this video. If you ever have a box you're concerned about, the thing you do need to consider is as the boxes change throughout the years, there's different like ways they were sealed. So this will work for like originals in you know, the first few sets. But as you go, like the certain signs may differ, but you can probably use these as you go to actually learn Oh, summon skull from SDY. That's pretty cool. Is that card in nice condition? It's actually pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, you can use these signs, especially for these early sets. Um, but always take it with a grain of salt when it comes to like different level of sets. So like the light of destruction we opened the other day, you guys have probably maybe seen that video by now, but it was in the 200K video. This is first edition Metal Raiders, Juragumo, back to back seven colored fish. Pretty cool. If you guys saw that, I thought that one was res resealed, but it's like a different era and I was wrong and it wasn't resealed. It was an insane box that had a lot. It was like an error box. It was crazy. Uh, we have sort of deep seated more first edition metal raiders commons in here very cool we are going to open at least a couple of packs in this as well more first dead. we got a mushroom man where's the pequeno moth where's that Niwatori, very nice in the final pack here we go metal raiders first edition oh wait we got uh pharaoh servant sad unfortunately that uh it wasn't actually sealed because you know it's never fun you know when you think you have a legit box fortunately i have not paid for this or anything so don't worry guys i didn't get scammed i had suspicions about this as soon as i got it and it'll be figured out with like where i got it from but uh yeah this is obvious since we have it on video and everything that is why we do this 
so that we can confirm and everything like that. And also you guys get the, uh, I think this is a pretty good educational video for a lot of people because I know a lot of you guys, uh, you know, you want to know how to tell if a resealed box is resealed, what's a legit seal look like, and this should hopefully help you guys out. Oh, here we go. Wow, they started running. They didn't even use a Metal Raiders pack right there. Use the Alarm of the Nightmare. Unfor it's so sad that this is a thing people do, but it's a very small expertise. Like a lot of people don't know how to tell when a Yu-Gi-Oh box is resealed. So, you know, if they, if they find the right buyer who's interested in that, they can easily scan them, you know, because they don't really know the difference. Oh man, they taped the cards too. Come on, have some respect for the cards at least. Tape the cards. Okay, they're just, uh, dang, it's a LON card too. Rip that card. That card is unfortunately dead, probably. Rip Phantom of Chaos or whatever it is. Uh, Deal of Phantom. There it is. Phantom of Chaos. That's a different thing. Hey, I got it off. That's not bad. Okay, cool. Lab of the Nightmare. Okay, they had, they had like extra cards in it. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They put 11 cards in there. That's probably why it was bigger on that side. Come on, how do you not know how many cards there are in the pack? It literally says nine cards. Come on, scammers. But yeah, it really sucks that this is a thing that people do, you know, because obviously these boxes are crazy expensive. And if you reseal in 2020, probably resold it at like when Metal Raiders was worth like, you know, an insane amount of money, like a $10,000 box. So they probably scammed somebody for a lot of money, which is really unfortunate. And you don't really like to see that. I mean, this is not good for any hobby when people are, are scamming and there's always going to be people doing it. So that hopefully this video helps you guys not get scammed and you guys will be able to tell the difference between a legit and a resealed box. So we got first edition Metal Raiders again. Can't believe they put the commons back in there, man. That's crazy. I guess that I guess what happened is they just pulled out the foils and then just left it from there. That's makes sense, but pretty sad. Armored Zombie, no Pequeno Moth. So I guess, honestly, they could open it for the Pequeno Moth and then just resealed it. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, they get the best card out there and then you kind of do it like that. We have a super message in. Oh, these, these are unlimited. Okay. Anything else here? Will we get something crazy out of these reseal? Not even reseal. They didn't reseal the pack. They put a foil in here. Wait, no way. I, could, I thought this was way. This might be a, is this wavy? I think this is a wavy soul exchange. <laughs> it's like slightly wavy. This is hilarious because like scammer obviously thought it was a cheap card. Wavy cards, you know, especially these old school cards are pretty valuable no matter what they are. So this probably actually had some value. So they were stupid enough to put a valuable card in the resale box. So you love to see that when the scammers are just dumb enough for that to happen. Uh, one of my favorite videos that uh, Pokerev has done is when Pokerev, he had, like got scammed at one point and he ended up grading his comments and like making his money back. I was like, oh, there we go, Cousin Moth. Like a little F you to the, uh, to the scammer. So you, you love to see that when that happens. Eventually, you know, maybe some of the cards they put back and they become valuable. But Soggy Dark Clown, very cool. Yes! The last pack! The Pequeno Moth! You don't make this up, guys. This is the perfect resealed box. First edition Petit Moth, Larva Moth, Soul Exchange. And then Harpy Lady is actually a crazy comment as well. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Well, that was pretty wild, guys. Uh, let's open a couple of packs just because, you know, let's see what some legit packs look like. I do have a King's Court pack right here that we can open up. This turned out to be a longer video than I thought because going through the comments was actually pretty fun. Wow, that, that was a funny ending. Got the Petite Moth and a Wavy Soul Exchange. That's hilarious that that was in there. We got a Burning Soul, Ultra Rare. Hey, nice, legit packs. We can pull something. We got a Blazing Vortex here. Don't forget to check out the Whatnot stream tonight, guys, because we do have a legit box we're going to be opening. Opening. I'm not gonna be opening in this resealed stuff. Don't worry. Very nice. Uh, I'm glad that we sniffed that out though. Uh, makes me feel a little bit better, you know, because it's always tough. Arm Dragon level 10, white. There you go, MBT. That's hilarious because we just went back to back. Those are tough pulls, you know, because there's, you're always like, ah, do I? Am I sure this is resealed? And it's like I wasn't completely sure, like sure, but I wasn't like willing to open that box up. So I'm glad to see that I was right. We have the Warrior returning alive. We have Majestic Dragon. Uh, well, like a cigar dragon. Okay, we got a super rare. And I think I have one. We have a couple of Legendary Duelist Rage of Roth. Let's try and get a ghost rare right here. Legit ghost rare. Trying to learn how to talk with these things on, by the way. So I'm doing my best. It's a little bit difficult because, oh, that's a super rare. Not guaranteed. It's very different than when you have nothing on your teeth than when you have these rubber bands and plastic all over your teeth. Okay, let's pull a ghost rare so that we will remember me talking weird for forever in the top 25 pulls of the year. No, we didn't get it. Okay. 
not bad. Okay, pretty crazy video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it's helpful to you guys who are buying old school boxes. Also, what not tonight? I wanna see you guys there. It's gonna be an insane stream, Metal Raiders first edition. Even if you don't wanna buy anything, you'll be able to watch him participate in the giveaways as well, so might as well be here. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Macycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Stage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mehmet Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.